Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. This video is all about some tips and myths on how to grow out long hair. So let's start off with one myth. One myth is that they say you should cut your hair, you know, every, what, what was it, like six weeks or something? That's a myth. If you want to grow out your hair, don't cut it because, you know, each time you trim it, you're going to um, set yourself back that much. Where that myth or that tip would actually come into use is where you have split ends and obviously you don't want the ends to split all the way up and it's going to look terrible. So if you do have split ends, yes, trim it. And the only other place where that would come into play is if you're really, uh, you know, hell bent on having a set hairstyle. If you're like me and you don't really care if your hair doesn't really have like a uh, definable hairstyle then just let it grow out um, don't worry about cutting it even if it might be an even here and there because it is going to grow faster if you just don't cut it your hair grows from the roots and your hair is actually dead matter so what you do at the end has nothing to do with how fast it's going to grow out of your scalp so that's a myth don't cut your hair <laughs> another myth is that expensive products aren't going to make you have nicer hair necessarily. There are some products that will help your hair but for the most part you can thank your parents for your hair. Um, hair is a lot to do with genetics. I had a friend who spent $15 on you know per bottle for shampoo and conditioner. I used a two dollar bottle of shampoo and conditioner and I'll just say that my hair still looked and felt better than her hair. Like she had really fine, thin hair, and I always have always had really thick, shiny, strong hair. And I've never actually had problems with split ends or anything. So it's a lot to do with genetics. There are products that are going to help moisturize your hair. Like there are certain shampoos that will dry out your hair, um, you know, and using certain products like, you know, certain types of oils and stuff are probably going to condition your hair. So I'm not saying that nothing works out there, I'm just saying that don't expect that just because it has a big price tag that it's going to work, because that's not the case. So moving on to products, on the topic of products, let's talk about shampooing your hair. So when you shampoo your hair, um, just concentrate the shampoo right on the scalp where it's oily and just wash the, the oily part and use the um, excess shampoo and then wash the end. You want to focus the least amount of shampoo on the ends because that's where your hair tends to be the driest. So you're just going to concentrate on the scalp and then just use the excess for the rest of your hair. And then when it comes to conditioner, it's the exact opposite. You want to make sure you condition the ends really, really well. Don't condition your scalp because it will make your hair kind of look greasy. So just focus on the ends and then move your way up. You've probably heard this tip over and over again, but I mean, some of you might think it's gross. I don't think it is. Um, humans have become really overly sanitary, which is why we have like super bugs and stuff. Anyways, you don't wash your hair every day. Try to... I wash mine uh, every other day. Um, when I first... I used to wash my hair every day until I realized, you know, that it wasn't necessarily the best thing for my hair. And when I stopped doing that everyday thing, at first, yeah, my scalp got, you know, itchy and it felt disgusting and oily. But over time, your hair is going to balance itself in terms of the oil production. So try to wash every other day at the most. It will prevent your hair from drying out excessively. When you brush your hair, try to brush your hair starting from the ends and then working your way up. The whole purpose of this is because if you just keep brushing like this, it's gonna, you know, anytime there's any tangles on the on the way down, it's you're gonna like pull it with such force that you're gonna break the hairs halfway through or something and that's why you get a lot of flyaways. If you brush down on the way up, you're gonna reduce your chances of having, you know, like broken hairs all over the place and having crazy amounts of flyaway. And when you do break your hair, there's more chances that it's gonna become a split end or that it's, you know, not gonna be a healthy strand of hair. Last but not least, try not to process your hair too much. Don't 
you know, try to stay away from bleach and dyes. If you do use uh, colorants of some sort, um, just, you know, highlight something where it's not going to affect your whole head. Um, and obviously, if you're using heat products, like, try to stay away from heat products. If you use heat products, then try to definitely use a heat protectant. So that's some of my tips and tricks on how to grow out long hair. As you can see, my hair is actually really getting pretty long again. And if you watch my video from the summer where the hairdresser ended up cutting way too much off when I just wanted a one inch trim, it was actually quite short. It was probably around here. And so from the summer till now, it's grown, you know, quite a bit. So it's worked for me and obviously a lot of it has to do genetics but these are just some tips that I think would help everyone. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. And lastly, I really, really want to thank all my new and previous subscribers. It really means a lot to me. Even though I'm not trying to like, my goal isn't to become like a huge famous guru, I really appreciate it because it does motivate me to keep making videos knowing that, you know, even just one person out there is enjoying it. It brings me pleasure to be able to entertain you or to help you or to do whatever in some way. So thank you so much for your support.